The following is a reposting of a video I recorded on August 27th, 2015. Although the safe examined here is no longer on the market, I am reposting this because recent safe recalls have raised awareness that biometric systems are sometimes designed to allow access without a registered user. For those of you who are not aware of it, this design oversight has been an issue for years. This is the Bulldog Vaults BD3000. This is one of their two biometric safes. It has a fingerprint reader. The safe also has a bypass lock. It comes with a set of keys and an Allen wrench to remove the cover over that bypass lock. You also need the Allen wrench to access the battery compartment on the inside. Normally the owner of this safe will open the safe by pressing a power on button and then giving it a registered fingerprint to read. Inside of here at the far end of the door are two buttons. The button at the top is for entering new fingerprints in the system and the button at the bottom is for deleting all the fingerprints. To lock the safe you hold the door closed and then press that power on button a second time. I'll show you what happens if you try to open the safe with a fingerprint that is not registered in the system. I can attempt to open this safe all day long using this thumbprint and the safe will never open. Now getting unauthorized access to this safe is so direct and simple that I don't want to waste a lot of verbiage on this. The door of this safe fits loosely. It leaves a large gap at the top and at the bottom. This means that anyone can come along with a piece of metal shim, insert it under the door and press that button to delete all of the fingerprints out of the system. This is a steel bristle from a street sweeping machine that I picked up out of the road. I've given it a bend at one end and I'm going to insert it under the door here and try to press that button. That's it. I've just deleted all of the fingerprints that were registered in the system. What that means now is that any fingerprint will open this safe. The scary thing about this situation is that the owner of one of these safes that has been compromised can come home, open the safe the way that individual normally would, pressing the power on button, giving it a fingerprint to read, and the safe will appear to be functioning normally. That individual has no reason to suspect the safe has been compromised.